All right, welcome to Changsha. A lot of high rise buildings. Completely different from where we've been so far. This is the train station. And now we are walking towards the main road. Hoping to get a uh, DD to our hotel. Welcome to Changsha, Hunan, a young and modern city full of life and energy. It's a place where tradition meets innovation and you can really feel the vibrant atmosphere everywhere you go. But Changsha is also known for its deep historical significance, especially its connection to Chairman Mao Zedong. Mao spent his early years here and he's still highly regarded in this region as a revolutionary leader. There's even a small island on the river called Chusi Island or Orange Isle, where you'll find a massive statue dedicated to him. And at night, the city transformed into something out of a sci-fi movie. The neon lights, glowing skyscrapers, and futuristic vibes make Changsha feel almost cyberpunk, creating an incredible contrast to its rich history. Unfortunately, we didn't get to check out everything in details as we only have less than 24 hours before our flight back to Kuala Lumpur. Okay, just got our DD. Just waiting for him to arrive. Oh. <laughs> hey, yeah, let's break this at all. That's crazy, man. Oh, I'm cool. Well, welcome to Changsha. Okay, I'll see as McDonald. I don't know what this is. Now we are in the heart of Changsha, exploring one of the city's livelier spots, Chiafang Road, right next to the historic Taiping Street. This area is a perfect blend of the old and the new, with incredible dining, endless shopping, and some of the best nightlife Changsha has to offer. Before checking out this area, First, we will check in to our conveniently located hotel.
in the same building there's this uh, spa I think it's for the price is this for the price or I'm not sure what this is I need to translate it and there's Bobo it's a billet shop and you have all this power bank and pocket Wi-Fi for rent I think Fifth floor. Fifth. Fifth. And then the spa is 24 hours. Oh. Shazo for the baby. Yeah, yeah. Alright, we've made it to our hotel. And this is the reception. I'm glad this hotel has leave. I've been walking up down seventh floor for the past three days. Not bad. Not bad first impression. I like the black and white house flooring. Yeah. Good first impression so far. Changsha by the name of Yichu 1983. We got this uh, lovely fruit basket as a welcome gift with I think sesame cookie. Let's, let me close the door first. Okay. And here we have black tea. Cow chill cha. I don't know what's it. Okay. And some more goodies. Alcohol towel. Uh, sleeping mask. Earplugs, cotton bud, floss, and fire extinguisher. And the usual stuff in China mosquito repellent. Here's the wardrobe area, and the first fridge in our hotel since we arrived in China. A small fridge, but still a fridge. Bedroom slippers. Let's check out the bathroom. Hand wash. Looks fancy. Face towel or hand towel. Let's see what we have inside here. Shower cap, vanity kit, razor, comb, and dental kit. 
here, good enough. So everything's complete. Bathroom, fan, mirror, hair dryer. Bathroom slippers, toilet bowl. I think it's automated or oh. okay. It's like the lap. Okay, let me try. Turn off the light. Ooh. Okay. That's the first. Light it up. Toilet bowl. Check out the shower area. Mm. Shower gel, shampoo, conditioner, rain shower. Oh, I like the towels, floral towels. Yep, rain shower, my favorite. Okay, let's check the water pressure. It's quite decent compared to the other hotels that I stayed in China. This is considered quite good. And the shower gel smells great. Shampoo as well. And they even provide conditioner, which uh, according to Wendy, smells absolutely wonderful. Okay, and then let's move on to the bed. Ah, seems very comfy, soft. I think this is a queen size bed with USB port and uh, your electrical port, corridor, bell. Okay, this is a non smoking room. Digital clock here. Yeah. I think this is uh, automated. I don't know what the China version of Alexa is, but I'll try to figure it out. And I probably need to speak in Chinese as well. So good luck to me. Oh, yes, there's something I want to show you. that out is that the biggest TV you've ever seen in a hotel room yes okay so it's awesome isn't it oh yeah wait, there's a sofa and uh, there's a chair with ashtray here I thought it's a non-smoking room so yeah this is it Yichu 1983 Hotel in Changsha Is it a glass? Yeah, I think it's a glass. 
but yeah, it has a nice design to it. But when they I agree that this task looks beautiful. So yes, it's not a big room, but I think it's fairly modern and beautiful. So yeah, just one night here before we fly back to Kuala Lumpur. So let's make full use of this room and enjoy the night. Oh, nice, light it up. Yep, looks better now. See the view. Ah, disappointing. Okay, the first task is to locate where Taiping Street is. Because that's where the night market is, I think. Or the street food street is. Well, anyway, this is the view. I don't know what's that tall building. I think the river is somewhere here. Yeah. Hopefully, I have some energy left to explore whatever part of Changsha this is. It's been a tiring trip. But that's no excuse to explore somewhere new, right? And there's a projector up there for this huge, huge, huge TV. And the AC is quite big as well, so it's going to be cool. Okay, so this is how it will look like at night. Oh, nice. Especially with the tiles, it looks so beautiful. And don't forget our toilet bowl. Light it up. It's like you have your own private cinema. The only issue is, I think all the movies that I want to watch, I need some subscription, which I don't have. But yeah, there it is. Sorry, I didn't hear what you said. Xiao Du, I want to watch YouTube. This bird has eaten the iron bars. It's an outside noise. It's not what it is. Xiaodu,你可以讲英文吗? This is the old Changsha, I assume. Yes, I'm very happy. You need to pay what is it? I do. 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 I Oh, it's a big umbrella. What 
So cool, is it the building up there? It needs it's foggy. Okay, let's go. Let's go to where the hotel recommend. We then went out to check out Taiping Street which we later found out is just right across the road. Don't forget to check out that video where we will explore what I dubbed the Harajuku Street of China. Okay, so what do I think about Yiju 1983 Hotel in Changsha? I think this hotel's location is absolutely amazing. It's located just opposite of Taiping Street where you can find delicious street food and shop for souvenirs. Further down the road, there's a store that sells giant snacks. You can just buy it as a souvenir or just have fun taking photos with it. This hotel provides free laundry for you and you can ask for free coffee from the reception anytime. So yes, I think this hotel is worth staying it's close to everything that you need and it's very comfortable. The highlight of this room that I stayed in is of course the huge screen right in front of the bed. I haven't seen a hotel with such huge screen before. So yeah, I highly recommend this hotel right here in Changsha. Hi. Can I have one coffee? Uh, okay. Yeah, thank you. Which are mine? My complimentary Americano. After a long day of travelling from Fenghuang to Changsha, we can finally call it a day. What better way to relax than a freshly brewed coffee and a big screen to watch a movie? That's all from this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new here. See you, travel safe.